It's a gorgeous day in Seoul today, which actually gives me a bit of a dilemma. My body's screaming for bed rest, like, just go back to bed. I'm at the tail end of my cold now, and I probably would obey my body and go straight back to bed. But the next three days are going to be wet and miserable, so I feel like I'm kind of obligated to go out and do something today. plans for the rest of the day and the hop on hop off bus stopped right outside the design plaza so I figured I may as well hop on I had the sweetest funniest thing happen I got off the hop on hop off bus at the wrong stop because I couldn't really understand what they were saying on the announcement in English and it was pretty wet I didn't have an umbrella with me because I didn't want to carry it around all day but it got a lot wetter as the day went on. I was sort of standing there working out what to do and this man in a car was pointing at me and waving for me to come here, come here and so I did what you would do in that situation and just ignored him and then I went and stood under a tree for shelter and a couple of minutes later he came running towards me calling out to me and I'm like what the hell is going on? And the man handed me an umbrella, just randomly handed me an umbrella. What a sweet guy. He gave it to me and said, welcome to Korea. At this market you get a food tray and some strings of old coins and then you wander around the stalls, pick what you want and use the old coins to pay for your food.
a really fun and interesting place to explore on such a rainy day, nicely undercover. This was the best corn dog I had on my trip. I do not have words to describe how good this corn dog, cheese dog, corn cheese dog tasted. It was amazing. While I was at this market, uh, it was probably an honest mistake, but one of the girls working there, I ordered a coffee and she took my card and said she'd go up and sort it out while I ate. And I didn't notice until I got home that night and was checking my bank statement, she charged me 25,000 won for the coffee instead of 2,500 won. So, yeah, honest mistake or not, I was still charged like 25 bucks for a cup of coffee and wasn't very happy about that. So always make sure you get a receipt or check how much someone's taking out of your bank account. It was raining pretty heavily and all I wanted to do on this day was go to a cafe and sit down and get some sketching done but all the cafes that were on my mapping app didn't actually exist so I ended up back at the little Portuguese tart place and grabbed the coffee from there and went back to my Airbnb apartment. The rain stopped later in the day so I went out for a walk and to get some more sketching done. This was the day that I went to the abandoned amusement park but since I've got a whole other video about that I've skipped through to what I did afterwards. I was feeling pretty sick this day yet again. I was going to go back to sketch some stuff I'd seen around the city and I was in the cab and we got this bar, this is near where I was staying and told the captain I had to stop, I had to get out. I was not feeling good <laughs> at all. It's a gorgeous morning in Seoul this morning and it's my last day here. I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm not sure what I want to do today. I had some big plans but without going to 
too much information I've had a pretty upset stomach and I don't want to travel around the city too much um so what I'm thinking is I might just go back to Seoul Forest so then when I went there the first time it was a weekend it was very crowded but it's Monday today and I think it'll be a lot quieter so let's do that I just randomly went into this building to check out the view. I didn't know you could do that, but no one stopped me. And it had a sign out saying they had a rooftop garden, so why not? I want to check out this shopping space called Common Ground that's made out of shipping containers. It was quite interesting, but the stores were like Nike, Vans, Foot Locker, the kind of places you'd find anywhere, apart from them having a really cool bookshop and a few kind of cool places to eat. I've been staying about a block away from the Han River and I've only been there sketching once so on my last night I decided to go out and do some night sketching. Oh, it's getting a bit hard to draw now, it's getting really dark and I can't actually see what I'm putting on the page but it's been really fun just layering down the crayons, the neo colours and the oil crayons and getting this night scene done.
I'm just adding in the big dark shapes at the moment and then I'm going to go over this with oil crayon so that I can get the bright lights in. Hopefully this is going to work. The flight home took forever, including a nine hour stopover in Singapore. And for most of that, I felt absolutely wretched. But I made it home in one piece, even though I didn't really trust Pikachu as my pilot.